Welcome to Screen It or Stream It, where we take a look at a video that's currently out in theaters versus one you could stream at home and try to decide which one should you go with. Right now in theaters is Lego Batman. Now, I know it's an oversimplification, but Lego Batman is a traditional Batman story, at least at first glance. The Joker comes up with some nefarious scheme to try and take over Gotham, and Batman has to pull together his resources to stop the Joker and save the city. In reality, though, the conflict of the movie is not between the Joker and Batman, but between Batman and his friends. You see, Batman is emotionally scarred from the death of his parents, and he keeps everyone at a distance so that he won't have to go through the trauma of losing those close to him again, but in doing so, he doesn't get to experience the life he should with his friends and family in essence, secluding himself from the rest of the world. Now, it is a Lego movie, so it's not as dark and depressing as all that sounds. It has all the happiness, hilarity, and silliness that you would come to expect from anything with a Lego brand on it. For the streaming comparison this week, we're gonna go with Josie and the Pussycats. It's a 2001 comedy starring Rachel Lee Cook as the titular Josie McCoy, with Rosario Dawson and Tara Reid as the Pussycats. It's the story of a group of young women in a rock band fronted by Josie and backed up by Valerie, Rosario Dawson's character playing the bass, and Melody, Tara Reed's character on drums. The down but not out bandmates find themselves wallowing in obscurity in small town nowhere when Du Jour, the hottest boy band on the planet, winds up killed in a mysterious plane crash. Looking for a band to take up the mantle, the evil record company soon scoops up Josie and the Pussycats and sweeps them away on a whirlwind ride of studio recordings, promotional meetings, and the like. But not all is well, as the record company doesn't want the Pussycats, just Josie, and they seek to drive a wedge between the friends. Both films I would categorize as satirical comedies. Lego Batman spends a film poking fun at the tropes of the DC Universe, comic book movies in general, and really all of that nerdy, geeky wonderfulness that has overrun our media in the last few years. Without giving too much away, there are cameos from all different realms of movie nerddoms. In Josie and the Pussycats, the comedy doesn't really come from making fun of its roots like it does in Lego Batman, although there are some pot shots here and there, but instead is a send-up of modern culture and trends. Everything from our shopping habits to the ever-changing slang words we use in modern society. The primary conflict of both movies deals with the relationships, or in some cases the lack thereof, of the main characters. Batman has secluded himself from others as a choice of his own free will, fearing the repercussions of having people close to him, while Josie is driven away from her friends by nefarious means. In both, the lead characters learn that their friends are more important than any of their own hangups and have to bring people back into their lives. But which one is our pick? I'm gonna guess that a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this, but just stay home and stream Josie and the Pussycats. Both movies are funny and pretty much kid-friendly. Josie's PG-13 while Batman is PG. I just feel like Josie is a better movie overall, and this is coming from a long-time Batman fan. In fairness, I was over the whole Lego movie thing before it ever really got started, but I just get so much joy from Josie and the Pussycats. It's funny and smart and pokes fun of so many things that annoy me. It still brings a smile to my face every time I see it. From Melody's idiocy to Fiona, Parker Posey's evil studio head character's speech impediment that she tries to hide from everyone that slips out every now and then, to Alan Cummings' sniveling Wyatt character trying to be cooler than he really is. And Donald Faison, Breckenmeyer, and Seth Green do a fantastic job as the boy band du jour. The movie just hits so many checkboxes for me. And be honest with yourself, you've probably already seen the Lego Batman movie anyways. Well that's it for this week, and remember, don't bring your kids to the movies on Tuesdays, that's when we go to watch the movies.